Yo guys, what up? Back with another vlog. Um, today, we're gonna be taking off. We're gonna be taking off the turbo. So I can put the goodies on, as in the downpipe, stuff like that. Maybe paint this today. Um, I gotta order this whole some help to replace that. Uh, try to freshen up some stuff. Maybe, uh, too, I want to take off the wire off the car. Because I got a real good deal with uh, getting the wire redone. So I got to ship out the old harness that's over there. And then the old harness right here. And the harness that's on the car. So I might be taking off the harness today. Um, maybe painting up a little bit. Painting up the, the pulley. Stuff like that. I got some high temp paint. Black. Flat. Yeah. Flat black. Um, high temp paint and whatnot. So we might hit that off. <clears throat> I'm going to take off that cooling neck. That modified cooling neck that I have on my other motor. Uh, so I can take off this one. I got to drill a hole in it. And then I'm going to have my guy at my job um, weld the aluminum on there. You know. And then uh, I'll be set for that. So, um, we'll start off by taking off this turbo. Kids, here's the return. This is the hole from hell. Broke this. This is the wastegate line. All these rubber lines, a little port right there. You see, a little black. All these little lines, um, gonna get replaced. All these vacuum lines, gotta get replaced. They're all brittle and whatnot from the heat and whatnot. So, these gaskets, most of the most of the Toyota gaskets, I don't know, maybe most of the Japanese gaskets are multi-layered. They're three layers and they're usually reusable. This one, you could see it has blow-by on it. Um, I, might, I might be able to clean that up and, and use it, but it might be just cheaper just to order one. So, I, you know, I would order. Uh, the exhaust mount of the gasket, this drain, ga dr drain, uh, turbo drain gasket, uh, whatnot. So, yeah, turbo's off. Like this too, now I got access. I'm gonna paint the block so, you know, this stuff can go. I know online they have, it's a, uh, uh, what is it? It's a stainless steel feed and uh, return, so to say, I have to look it up, but uh, it's a couple dollars. I might pick that up instead of using this. It all depends, I don't know yet. Um, like I said, all these rubber gas, all these rubber hoses need to be replaced. I'm in it, might as well do it. Clean up the rest of it. You see the valve cover. You see all the oxidation and stuff like that. This is nothing, this is a surface surface oxidation I could just you know do a nice take a scotch bright pad and basically clean it up see it's coming off no problem so yeah go from there on to the next I'm not saying take off 
I'm eventually going to take off the turbo. I'm going to take off the turbo because I'm going to paint all this stuff. Um, cleaning up some more of the residual oil that's in there and whatnot. But um, this hefty. Uh, that's the cabin converter. It's off. It had these brackets on there. It's somewhat rusted, but the bolts came out no problem. So, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five bolts come off. Um, you know, three of them are nuts, three of them are bolt. So, you know, uh, as you can see, the turbo. See that? The fins look good, shaft play is. There's no shaft play in it. It's perfect. So, um, you know, I gotta take these things off and uh, see from there. But let's see how the downpipe is gonna look on there. So let me grab it right quick and um, let's test fit it. Let's see. gonna stick it on without the gasket right now she sits in there comes with the bracket that goes on the bottom there's a bracket that braces to this to hold it sturdy you see it has the flex in it so like I said the O2 sensor I'll pop out the O2 sensor swap it over um, stuff like that uh, this gasket should be good I think it's a this is a reusable gasket I'm gonna clean it up and um, clean it up and stick it on but like I said I want to paint that first um, paint the manifold and all that I have high temp flat um, I got high temp gloss black and then I think I got a high temp silver in my truck I just gotta grab but I'm gonna start taking off this manifold and turbo setup. It's just a couple lines. These two lines, the wastegate line. Um, there's a uh, there's a bracket on the bottom right here, and then this is the oil feed and oil drain, and that's it. It should come off after that, and obviously the bolts for the manifold itself. So luckily, this thing is you can see the rust, but it's not too rusted they're coming out pretty good and um yeah go from there sorry i didn't feel much but got her off my brother's working magic painting it with this high temp paint we're going on a black i sanded it down uh, cleaned up all the rust spots covered up all the compressor stuff so you can see this is a flat black so everything's covered up and pretty. So, yeah, I think this is uh, ready for. Let me see. The other one I got. No, oh, that's wrinkle paint. Oops, my bad. It's for 500 plus, so it'll be all right. Black, black, so should look real good. So we got the first coat of flat black on to the manifold and turbo as you can see it's dry to the touch I can touch it right now and um, it's dry it's looking good so we're gonna throw another coat on there as that was going on I uh, ended up sanding the bracket for this this is actually one of the little shields that go underneath the manifold the bracket that holds up the turbo to the block and I did it with the storm gray this is the I don't know if you can see the focus so whatever it's a storm gray picked up it's a dupe uh, color and uh, it's actually a GM color GM color so I need to paint it I like that. That looks really, really nice. Um, I was gonna do it the uh, high temp 
you know, the aluminum gray, whatever that we usually do, but I save that for the head. Um, I really like how that looks. It's only one thing. So I gotta do that. I'm gonna do the exhaust shield, which I have sitting in the corner over there. I'm gonna do the exhaust shield in a little bit. Um, sand it down, prep it. A little continuation of another video. Um, the housing, the intake housing, and the outlet housing for the turbo are painted, mounted on. Um, I installed my downpipe. Uh, I'm getting a new exhaust manifold gasket. Uh, my O2 sensor, my wide bands on. Um, I ordered a, a few other parts, the turbo feed and turbo drain. I ordered that kit that should be coming on Monday or in a few days. Um, I ordered this hose from hell to be replaced. And um, I took the housing off for the uh, coolant so I can modify it so I can put the coolant neck on there. I, I gotta get that uh, welded on. Um, as far as the car, if you guys are looking on my Instagram, um, I took the turbo, the manifold, and the wastegate off. Turbo feed and drain off of the car. Also, I uh, have the, uh, this was the old neck that I took out because I sold my TCS uh, water neck. I didn't want to buy the adapter. I just wanted to, to weld a new one onto the housing, so I cut that off. I took the snow performance water kit off. So, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the stuff to get um, transformation, transformed, sorry, transformed on here, and uh, we'll continue from there, so, peace, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, on to the next, I'll see you later, bye.